Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today what we're going to be doing is adding a new game to my collection. Here I have a copy of Aldabas, Doors of Cartagena. I've got to thank Mark from Grand Gamers Guild for sending this up from Gen Con for us to check out. This is a engine building game based on the fantastic fact that in Cartagena, there are all these awesome, huge, ostentatious door knockers that to show off the wealth, privilege, and profession of your family. This is a game inspired by that unique fact featuring some really cool kind of cartoony artwork of those door knockers. So it is a door knocker board game, a theme I don't think I've ever seen before. So that's always cool. Now, this one does play one to four players, so you can play solo uh, with games taking about half an hour. It lists an age of 14 plus. But again, I think that's more for, uh, you know, child regulations and what warnings they have to put on the back of the back of the box like this. I'm pretty sure, again, if I don't even know if there's reading required. No, there's no real reading required on the card. So I would think much younger players could play this. Um, this is my first time seeing this game in person. I have done some research on it. I know what the game's about. I've heard other people's reviews, but this will be the first time I open up this box, my copy of the game for the first time. So you're going to get to experience it with me, and we're going to get right to it. All right, here we have my copy of All the Boss Doors of Cartagena being opened up for the first time. This is done by Mills and Levin with art from Juan Margus. We start off with a uh, rule book. Got to say right at the top, I, I do dig this nice little uh, component overview. Always like a good component overview. Nice, it's broken up into different sections. You've got mostly one column layout, two columns when there are examples. That works for me. Wow. Okay, game end. Um, we're done. So there's two actions. Buy a door, place a door, end of your turn, game end. But then there's like special, special rules, right? Like door placement rules, your vault, and how they all work. All right, it scared me for a minute. I'm like, okay, this game's way simpler than I thought. Again, though, scoring. Um, solo mode. Still solo mode. And then a description, a summary of all the cards, all the different Aldabas. So, wow. Not a complicated game. You are looking at uh, setup. One, two, three, four. Basically four to five pages of rules. And that's it. And then there's a four page, three page solo mode. And then some nice summaries here on the uh, the different card types or the different types of cards. So there's there are five suits in this game. So this is what the different suits are. And what the different icons mean. Okay, those are nice. I totally was not expecting wooden money. That's awesome. I was totally expecting cardboard to punch. Big surprise. Awesome surprise. Oh, these are nice. These are really nice. They're no metal coins. But come on, that's really nice. Nice and thick. Wood. Different patterns on each side. Yeah. Different sides. They're not even the same on both sides. That's a nice touch. I was not expecting that. No metal, but still, that's much cooler than cardboard tokens. You get a ton of these. That's your gold coins you're going to use to buy your new door knocker. Bonus, extra baggies. Always appreciate extra baggies. Thank you, Grand Gamers Guild. Oh, there's uh, that's weird. There's cardboard to coins as well. Huh, all right. Probably a Kickstarter upgrade. And I don't know what this is. What is this? New Professions Mini Expansion. Oh, okay. There, there's like way more in this box than I expected. As far as I know, this is the retail version. It didn't say anything on it, like saying Kickstarter exclusive or anything. Okay, yes. There we go. I just noticed the back of my box does say contents plus Kickstarter with the 48 wooden coin to 27 new professionals. So this is a version that includes the Kickstarter. That's good to know. I wish I had seen that before I kept going. Makes more sense. We'll take a look at this after. All right, let's take a look at the cards. That is a stack. That is a significant chunk of cards. All right, backs, boring. I got to say, that's, that's pretty boring backs, but you know what? It works. I'm just surprised it didn't say Aldabas or something on it. All right, so it's it's kind of what you'd expect. You have the, the strength of the card, the suit it's in, and what it does at the bottom. So the suits here are, this is all one suit. So all the green suits, doors in different colors. There's two strength cards, so those are a little more powerful. They have more influence. 
and then we should get and that's it for the the green suit and at the bottom there's what you can do so like this card when played you're going to put money into your vault so no one can steal it i'm not going to get into a rule explanation this is an unboxing not a rule teacher or a review uh but here's a different suit so a different type of card and i'm sorry i don't remember exactly what the different suits are so the first ones were soldiers the green cards are soldiers these are fishers so again the the symbol on your door would tell you what your family did. So again, we have various power levels, level one fishing, level two fishing, and so on. And then level three fishing, and then they all have different abilities. Like this one gives you three coins. Once we get through all the fishing, we move on to the clergy. Which that's a creepy door knocker. Uh, this lets you store cards underneath your vault, which is another part of the gameplay and the scoring. So not as many. There are very few actual clergy in the deck. Then we get to the Builders. Again, those start at Strength 2, so Builders seem like they're a little more powerful, but they're only Strength 2. Then we get to the Nobles, which I assume, again, aren't going to have Strength 1 cards. And that's it. There's all our Nobles. So that's it for the cards. I got to say, the iconography is nice and clear. This from across the table is pretty easy to see. Um, I don't know if the door knocker symbols correlate to anything, because I noticed like this... like. If all the nobles have lizards, they probably do. Uh, the, here we have the vaults. So I'm going to put these aside. Just into the box for now. I'll get to the punch boards in a minute. So we have the vaults. Every player gets one of these, and it really reminds me of a different game called Diamonds, which was a trick-taking game where everyone gets a vault. So what this has is the rule summary on one side, and then once you learn it, you're going to put it face down. And there's one of these for each of the four players. The colors, again, don't really matter. You're going to have this in front of you. You're going to store coins under it, and you're going to have cards under it as well. Then we get to the small amount of punch boards. What's odd is how many coins they give you in wood compared to how many in cardboard. Um, you have a little scoring token here, and then you have the main playing board, which I'm actually surprised isn't puzzle fit. I actually thought this would be puzzle fit, but it's not. So this is your playing board, and all it does is it sets the price of the cards underneath it. So this would be set up. Like this, and you would have various cards to buy underneath. Like this, and well, this card costs three, this card costs two, this costs one, that costs none. This is the only board there is in the game. Now, what you do need is a significant play area because you are going to build a four by four grid of these cards, or up to four by four grid of these cards. So that could take up a significant amount of. Room. And then we have punch boards, and I'm not sure what the little tokens are for in player color, maybe just to show who's who. That's one I don't know off the top of my head, but you just have tokens in the four player colors. Okay, I am putting everything in the lid, which is probably terrible. So we're going to move this back over here. Put all this back. All right, now we're going to take a look at this. So I apologize for people looking at the, the retail version. This comes with the Kickstarter version, which I, I assume is, is a different version you can pick up. So this includes 27 more door cards. It does know includes new professions for you to add to your games. Bankers, doctors, and merchants. So three new suits. I don't see any reason not to crack this open. Except, wow, that's a tight fit. That's okay. I may have to cut this one. How did they get those in there? Okay, not only that, they're also wrapped again. So here's the rules for your new faction. So again, three new Three new factions and three new suits, I guess we'll call them. And a new set of cards with all new door knocker artwork. It does look like they did a fantastic job of varying not just the color, but the symbol. So it should be colorblind friendly. Uh, once we get to reviewing the game, I'm sure Sean will do a test to see that. So yeah, we have new suit. I probably should have left this out so I could see what the suits were. So bankers. Whole bunch of banker cards with a nice big coin on it to de denote them. Then we have doctors. Nope, these aren't doctors. These are merchants. Nope, merchants are all level one cards. So that's interesting to know. And all that matters is it's based on majorities. Who has the most doctors? Who has the most? That's where that power comes in. And the colors of the door just matter when you're placing. And then we have the doctors. Doctors look like they're all worth victory points at the end of the game. That's what that little sun symbol is. Again, the owl. That's really nice. So there you go. Three new suits 
for all the bass. I am not even going to try to get this back into that baggie. I am going to grab one of these other ones it came with and toss it in there. Then we're going to go over here, throw this in here, the extra baggies. I know it's a mess right now, but this is not a reboxing or an insert build video. This is an unboxing. Putting the stuff back in doesn't really matter all that much. There you go. All the boss doors of Cartagena published by Grand Gamers Guild. So I do have to apologize that I didn't call it out right at the beginning of the video because I didn't realize. So um, this was shipped up to me from Gen Con. I have to thank one of our awesome patrons, Kevin, for muling it up here for us um, and was provided by Mark from Grand Gamers Guild. And it ends up he gave me the Kickstarter edition. So thanks for that, Mark. That's awesome. What I don't know is if you can like go buy this at retail or if those were Kickstarter bonuses that were unlocked, everyone gets. So you'll have to do a little bit of research on that. And I'm sorry I didn't do that before I started recording this video because I didn't realize. Other than that, this looks sweet. Um, I love the card art. I like the starkness of it. Very bright, contrasting colors. It's going to look really good on a table. It's going to be a great public play of a game where people are going to walk by and be like, what, what are you playing? It really pop. You're going to be building this giant grid. Well, giant. Big grid of multicolored cards with these giant door knockers on them. And I've got to say, this game has inspired me. I don't think we're doing it anytime soon, but now I want to go to Cartagena and see these door knockers in person. Um, not something I ever thought I'd say. So that's it for my look at all the boss doors of Cartagena from Grand Gamers Guild. Again, I am Motuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet. It's Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can find me video my videos on YouTube, which if you're watching this right now, Subscribe and hit that like button. It's always appreciated and does wonders for the algorithm. All praise you, YouTube algorithm, to get my videos shown by more people. If you do dig this video, you can head over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and show your support. And I'd love to see you on the tabletop bellhop discord, which should be pretty easy to find. That's it for this unboxing video. Thank you for joining me. Good day and game on.